Kafka in a single cluster mode and that's where I thought that I will simply create a video and share for others as well so uh, a small introduction this I was doing uh, for the development purpose uh, uh, because single cluster means I don't want to have the all the scalability related complexities I just want to test my code and probably give it to the deployment and infra team for for the scaling of the cluster and uh, uh, this is for my development machine, so I don't want to load it uh, too much. That's the intention. Kafka, we know it's a distributed event store, so which means that it is distributed means that multiple nodes, uh, multiple clusters which sit in multiple nodes are possible, and it can scale as uh, as high as possible. Details we can see from the Kafka site. Stream processing also we can do on the Kafka queues, which means the data which is coming, like the stream which is coming, like a IoT stream, video stream, text, logs, as they come, as they come, we are able to process them at the same time. So that's the stream processing part of it. These are the two functionalities which provide us decoupled and on time or real time processing when we put the messages on the Kafka queue. Uh, so what are the different components so the different components which are there are the uh, number one is the producer then we have a kafka uh, 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 cluster and in this case we will be having only one cluster and we shall be having one topic where we will be uh, pushing our messages and we have one consumer uh, very simplistic and we would be having a zookeeper also which is basically control plane which means that it will be controlling all the clusters their management activities leader nodes all those things shall be done by the zookeeper so we need not get into the details of how and what zookeeper does but that's what it does basically so let me quickly show you the docker compose file and that compose file i'll i'll paste it somewhere uh, so it can be quickly leveraged as well so this is the compose file uh, if i open it i shall put somewhere in the description where exactly you can get it from so like i said it's a single node so we have one broker and one uh, zookeeper primarily these are the two things two images which we are going to leverage the first thing is the docker compose so which will uh, which will ensure that the two images are up zookeeper and the broker and the network is also set up then uh, we shall be opening uh, we will be going inside the docker and uh, inside the container with the docker exec uh, in the bash shell and then we create a topic and then we create a producer and then we have to create a consumer which we can uh, go inside another shell and run this command one more time and uh, so that we are inside the docker again and from there we instantiate the consumer and post that what we'll do is once we produce something once we type some message here the same message we will be able to see there in the consumer also so that's a small demo to ensure that everything is up and running and let me quickly do a docker compose up and show you uh, the docker compose up uh, so this is the docker compose up which i have already initiated i'll pause the video for now and uh, basically just to say minus d means it's in a detached mode uh, so that's what we will see once it comes up once it downloads and it comes up uh, as we can see that this is done the docker compose is done in a detached mode i'll open a new command t to open a new shell and let me run uh, let me quickly uh, do let me quickly do uh, uh, what I mean to do here is I want to go inside the broker which is my docker uh, image and I want to go in the bash cell so that's what I'm doing docker exec uh, and in the iterative mode interactive mode and I'm inside the docker so now what I have to do is I have to create a topic which I will quickly do I'm just copying pasting the data and uh, it is saying that this command is not found uh, so it's uh, basically the way it has been linked up is that it does not require this sh so i will just remove this and this event is already there so uh, probably i was playing with it some time back so that's where this this topic is already there 
let me call it one okay and now this is done now I'll quickly create a, a producer so I copy it from somewhere paste it here I rename I do a one here and I start typing hi uh, hello word okay uh, and now what I do is I open a new con command T again open a new uh, shell so that I can have the producer also uh, there so what I'm going to do here is uh, the consumer also uh, in place so what I'm going to do is I'm putting the consumer script here and I put this and again it has a problem because I did not do this I did not went inside the docker so let me I have already I'm already inside this let me paste this again and if I do this the consumer is up and running okay so now what we can see here is uh, it's a nice day so the moment I put something it automatically and immediately comes here so that's what uh, we are able to see now that there is a single node single cluster with uh, with the zookeeper which we have placed here and we are able to produce something and we are able to consume it also and this I just wanted to do it for the development purpose I'll place the scripts and the readme on uh, somewhere in the description thank you very much